right here. I mean, I'm looking down at this person from my driver's seat and I knew, hey, this is the real deal, this is serious. We met in a way that's a little bit different from most uh, friendships beginnings. Hello, my name is Eric Ortink. Um, I'm a family man. I used to be a construction worker. I did uh, underground wet utilities and we all learned CPR. I took a class and I never thought I was actually gonna use it. I'm on the street here, I was going to my, my brother's house, which is this next neighborhood up here. And that's when I looked to the right and I saw this jogger not moving, unresponsive. I was running with a good friend of mine before work. I started feeling extremely lightheaded. That was the last thing that I remember. There was a bystander, just so happened to be Eric, and he was driving by with his one-year-old daughter. And I thought to myself, either A, I'm gonna go about my life, and that'll make no difference to me, or B, I can turn around and see what's really going on with this guy. So I ended up making a quick U-turn. There was another bystander there, and I looked at that guy and I said, hey, my daughter's in the car, please just keep an eye on my car. Immediately walk up to Austin, he's laying there on the ground, that moment was insane. The absence of a heartbeat is crazy. Put my hands on his chest and just started pushing his heart down. All of a sudden, he kind of like lets his air out, which I didn't know at the time. That's basically your last breath. Like your body says, I'm done. And I just kept pumping, I just kept pumping his heart. After minutes of this, finally we hear the fire truck on its way, you know, and that was just such a relief because I knew once they got there, they are gonna be able to shock his heart back to life. Be that person that stops. Be that person that just takes a minute out of their life to see what's going on, to see if you can actually help. That's ultimately what saved my life. My children learned a valuable lesson from that moment, that their dad helped out somebody, you know, and that's something that will be in their minds for the rest of their life. Like, my dad literally saved somebody's life. He helped somebody in need. The more people who have the willingness to jump in and help and know how to do CPR, can make all the difference in someone's life. You never know when it's your father, your mom, or anybody around you is gonna have a problem like that. Knowing that you can keep somebody's blood flowing, keeping their brain alive until you get an AED there to help, it's wonderful. Because these situations, they are scary. They, you know, you're entering the unknown. You're not sure what you're going to be trying to help with. Check it out, just see what you can do. It might make all the difference, it really might. Don't be afraid, just help. You won't lose a wink of sleep over stopping to help somebody.